Hey guys, and what's up? Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing something I feel like I haven't done in a while, which is a vlog. So today is looking pretty crazy. I literally have four go-go -go gigs booked today. So let me tell you guys what my schedule is. So my first gig starts at 12.30 a.m. until 1.30 a.m. My second gig is at 2.30 a.m to 3 30 a.m and then i go home and sleep and tomorrow i have another gig from 5 to 9 30 p.m and then i have 11 p.m to 2 a.m oh my god <laughs> so yeah that's pretty insane schedule for today but your girl you know I i'm feeling good i'm excited I somehow have energy I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to bringing you guys along with me for this chaotic day and a half ish anyways I'm gonna eat real quick and then head out to the gig I'm super nervous or should I say gigs because there's two of them tonight I'm nervous because my friend who worked at this first venue last week she told me it's a little ghetto Okay, maybe not a little, but like a lot of ghetto. <laughs> like it's in a ghetto area and then the customers are kind of ghetto and it's just like a, it's just overall ghetto. Um, and But you know what? Sometimes I make the best money at the most ghetto spots. And she told me she made good money, but she's like, be prepared girl, cause. <laughs> so I'm scared. And then the second venue is also in the ghetto. <laughs> like in the sketchy area. I've never been there before. Supposedly, it's like an underground rave. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what I got myself into tonight. I'm hoping everything goes well. Um, I just got done working that first event. I didn't really film in there because, <laughs> um, remember earlier when I was like, my friend told me it was ghetto. I don't know if ghetto is the right word. I don't like using that word. Uh, how about we use the word sketchy or just like, mm, eh. um, it was definitely a bit sketch. It's so small, um, in the middle of like nowhere <laughs> there was only like maybe like 10 people in there um but somehow I still made money like everyone was pretty cool honestly it was a Mexican place so nobody really spoke English um I speak a little bit of Spanish so I was able to get by but it sounds like they really liked us and they want dancers every every week there so I'd be open to trying it again and seeing how it goes. Anyways, I just pulled up to my next event, which is also in a very sketch area. Um, I'm waiting on my friend to get here because she's dancing with me tonight. like a switch up from my usual gig. Hey guys, so it's now Saturday, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and chat while I count my money from last night. So I'm going to separate my base pay from the after hours spot. And I want to talk about how the after hours spot went to. Um, 
So it was definitely a different vibe of like what I'm used to doing because it was like house music. Um, I don't think I've ever done a house music gig before or like I don't even really listen to house music in general so I didn't know what the vibes were going to be or like what to expect or how to dance to it really. But um, to my surprise, I actually ended up liking it way more than I thought. Okay, so I'm putting my base pay aside and I'm just gonna like sort out these ones. So all of this is from the first spot that I worked, which was like that little sketchy <laughs> Mexican bar. Some guy gave me like a bunch of $2 bills, which I love because I think they are lucky. Okay, so last night, um, so for both of my gigs last night, I was only booked one hour. Usually I don't like to book things like that that are so short because that means I'm not going to be making as much. But I guess back to back like that, I didn't mind. And it went by so fast, actually. I think I prefer working like little one hour gigs back to back versus like one long gig, especially gigs where like I'm making tips. Um, so at the house music gig, we didn't really get tips because we were dancing on like the stage by the DJ. So understandable, like we were kind of like not even near people to where they would be able to tip us. Plus, I don't think that crowd would really tip us anyway. Um, oh wait, no, I lied. Somebody did tip Ashley a $10 bill while she was like walking through the crowd. So we made $5 each <laughs> at the second gig. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun and the venue was really pretty and just like super weird and vibey and unique it was definitely my vibe um they had some like black light art set up just like a bunch of cool stuff i'm just gonna dump this all out so it'll be easier <clears throat> okay so for my gigs tonight i'm about to head out shortly to my first gig which is like honestly i don't know what type of event it is or like what to expect. I don't think I've ever been at that venue before either. But I do know that I'm going to be dressed up as a fembot from um, Austin Powers. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. I love getting in character and like dressing up as cool themes. So I'm going to have like the blonde wig and like the really big hair and the cute fluffy outfit. I'm super excited to see how that goes. And then after that, I'm just going to be going to my residency at um, Rockwood for a Saturday night. It's been kind of slow there lately, so I'm not expecting too much. But hey, at least I can get my cardio in. And you know what? When it's slower, I'm able to film more. So maybe that just means I'll, get, I'll be able to get like more footage at the club for you guys. Okay, so I pretty much have everything organized now. Well, this is not super organized, but this is all of the $2 bills. First off, like, who just walks around with that many $2 bills on them? <laughs> I think that's so funny. And then I got one $5 bill. And then these are all the ones I'm gonna put them through my money counter because ain't nobody got time for that. Y'all, I absolutely love this thing. This is definitely a must for anybody who is a go-go dancer, stripper, bartender, anywhere where you're making like a lot of cash, especially ones. So 114, cute. Okay, so let's count the total. Let me whip out my calculator because your girl is not that good at math. All right, so this was 114, what I counted in the money counter. And I put my little money band on it. Did you guys know you can actually get these at the bank? They just make me feel so much more organized and aesthetic versus like putting a rubber band or like a hair band or I don't know. <laughs> I've definitely seen girls come up with really creative ways of tying up their $100 bands. 
So there's 21 $2 bills. Um, so I'm just going to put plus 21, plus 21, and then plus $5. So that's a total of $161 in tips, just tips, not including my base pay. Honestly, that's more than I thought I made. It's so funny, like, when you see money, like, in a little bag like that, it doesn't really look like much until you count it. Cool. I'm excited. I'm happy about that. It's been a while since I've, like, had a good night tip-wise. Anyways, I'm about to head out to my gig, and I'll see you guys there. I'm a blondie today. like compare how I look at the beginning of the shift into like towards the end and I my hair is definitely like looking super raggedy ah! I am ready for my break in between my next gig I'm definitely gonna probably stop for food somewhere and replenish because I need it this is what I do when the gig is over <laughs> I just got to my other gig and I was so excited to get tacos from the taco place next to us and the one day that I need food desperately they're not here so I just ordered food on uber eats I'm hoping that it comes here on time because I'm literally like so dead right now so I just ordered uber eats I think I already told you guys that but yeah I'm currently waiting on my food to come I got here pretty early um, so tonight is fight night and I'm thinking maybe we should wear these themed boxing outfits. I feel like that would make sense. Um, we just happen to have these from a past event, I guess. So I'm going to wait on the other girl to get here so we can decide our outfits. Also, we start at 11 and they're going to be having the audio on for the fight. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> I guess we're going to be dancing to like boxing audio. Um, that shall be interesting. Okay, update guys. Um, it's almost time to go out and the other girl is still not here yet. I don't know if she is just running late or if she forgot but I like texted her and she hasn't said anything back so I'm kind of getting worried because we go on in like literally three minutes. This is the fit by the way. super dramatic but okay first off sorry for recording in my car but I know as soon as I get home I'm like going straight to bed because I've had a really long weekend 
um, as you guys can tell from this vlog. Okay, so remember how I had told you guys, like, I think I had told y'all and recorded it, that the other dancer, like, still hadn't shown up, and it was, like, five minutes before we were supposed to go on stage, so I texted her, I'm like, hey, like, what's your ETA? She never texted back, so I just went ahead and started my set, like usual, and I say, like, 30 minutes after... Um, our start time she finally texts me back and was like hey I, I was asleep sorry and um, like I had said earlier that that club has been pretty slow and I feel like they've been on our butts lately about like everything about girls showing up late leaving early um, not having like good energy or enough energy when they're dancing just like a bunch of complaints honestly and for her to do that <laughs> when we literally just got all these complaints I mean it probably wasn't her fault right like I don't know maybe she slipped she didn't set an alarm or I don't know exactly what happened but needless to say the manager was not happy at all and it just it looks bad on everyone like when one dancer f's up it really like reflects on everybody which really sucks because I take my job very seriously obviously and it's like something I'm very passionate about and so I'm always on time for the most part I don't think you know unless it's like an emergency or something maybe um, even if I'm feeling like absolute garbage and I'm sick or I'm tired whatever I'm still show up to work with a smile on my face and enough energy to fake it till I make it yeah so I kind of get irritated whenever I'm like guilty by association but yeah now I'm like I'm a little nervous that what happened tonight um, is gonna make them cut the go-go's completely because it just it doesn't look good it looks very unprofessional it looks like we don't care or take our job seriously on our part even if it's not everyone <laughs> like myself but you know guilty by association um did I ever even talk about the gig before I don't think I did okay so let's do a little recap of the gig that I worked before Rockwood which is my nightclub residency this was a very fun gig it was like I don't know if it was a special DJ, um, but he was like EDM type vibe. It was packed AF. Um, it was a bunch of like college kids though, so the crowd was a little young, but they weren't like super rowdy like college kids usually are. They were actually quite like respectful and just having a good time. Um, so yeah, the energy was super high, crowd was good music was on point like I felt like I was at a music festival and just like the way the venue was set up it kind of felt like I was working a festival or like a concert and I haven't done that in a long time so I definitely like danced my butt off I'm definitely going to be sore as heck tomorrow um, but I had so much fun at that gig and I personally love dressing up and getting into character. And that costume was so freaking cute. The Austin Powers um, Fembots uh, had a, like a blonde wig on and the whole get up. It was really, really cute. Um, the theme of the party was, I think it was hippie, 70s hippie vibes, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what we were going for. But yeah, it was a pretty good, very busy weekend, as you guys saw. Oh, not even weekend. Like, literally, this all happened <laughs> in the span of one day, right? Like, 24 hours. That's crazy. Four events within one day. Um, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I feel like I haven't been vlogging as often um, if you guys want to see more vlogs definitely comment down below let me know what you guys would like to see um, 
leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!